it is a beautiful Wednesday morning and say it with me, I'm at the Goodwill down the street from my house. And we're gonna go in here and see if we can find a flip on line for a profit. Here's the route where we go straight to the golf clubs, but now it's kind of weird to go straight to the purses because we sell a lot of money in purses. And uh, this one's actually not too bad. It's a St. John's Bay leather little book bag. It smells heavily of smoke though. Uh, we do have a machine that gets the smoke out but a lot of times if we can smell the smoke we usually tend not to buy it unless it's super high end but some of the older st john's bay leather stuff sells pretty good it says genuine leather what is this i don't know that looks like it's uh disney little mini oh i think there was a wallet that looked like that there was mini loves you no, Minnie loves dots. I don't know what that means. It's from Disney Parks. Seven bucks though, it's kind of expensive. You would have to flip it for like 20. I'll have to go find Kayla to see. We did not start with a cart because we are team no cart. And look, I already found something. It's a big beer Bradley. No, it's not, it's a fake beer Bradley. I can tell by the touch. Fake. I'm in here by myself. Somebody else is here. Hairs for me. That's brand new though. The decoration canister. Not worth it. I have no idea. What is that? Denver Super Bowl 50 champions. Huh. This right here is actually might be worth money if they were worth money. It's the dumbbell set. Um, I wonder if they have the dumbbell set back here. These are adjustable dumbbells. And a lot of times the dumbbell won't work unless it has this tray if that makes any sense. So I couldn't find actually any sole comps on just the tray. The dumbbells do sell between 45 to 70 bucks. Uh, adjustable dumbbells still have a market. Regular dumbbells have definitely fallen off, but still dust adjustable dumbbells are pretty good. So if you find them for cheap, definitely pick them up. But the tray, I couldn't find any sole comps, so I did leave them behind. What do you think about that? Remember they had the, uh, the wallet? In here? Does it have a brand on it? That's yeah, Disney. Oh. It's Disney Parks. That's Mini. Yeah. No, I know. I just oh, didn't yeah. know if it was like a certain brand. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Disney. It's from the Disney Parks. Disney Parks. Okay. What do you think? Cool. Worth seven bucks? Yeah. You think? Yeah. Did you look at these bags over here? Is that a little Rubbermaid? Sleep sound machine. I have a brand on it. It's like big speakers. So anyway, somebody definitely knew I was coming because they have donated a ton of the uh, coolers. So they got them marked up at fifteen dollar hairs. It's funny. This one right here is four ninety nine, and this one back here is fourteen ninety nine. I'm not seeing the ten dollar difference. I just, I ain't seeing it. So if the, if it's clear liquid, fair weather, murky liquid, rainy weather, crystals at the top, thunderstorms, large flaky crystals, cloudy skies, snow in winter. That's what we have right now, son. I know. Thread of crystals, windy weather. Do you put it outside? I don't know. Is this a gimmick? <laughs> Probably. I think that's a gimmick. It's only $2 though. This don't have prices. Oh yeah, they do. Is that worth $2.99? That's a pretty cool. No? What's this guy doing? Chilling. Oh yes, horse heads. Southwestern Reflection Bookends. Huh. Are they made out of something special? It's almost like they're, oh, no. I was gonna say they're made out of something special because it looks like that they are porous, but they're this one's just broken. So bear head. They're they got heads everywhere. <laughs> Remember the part in Ace Ventura when he walks into the room of death when it had a whole bunch of heads on the wall? Oh yeah. That's what it feels like in here. <laughs> it's a bamboo bowl. We've actually sold these before. Um this one's losing its lacquer on the outside so it's gonna be a no-go on this one but some of them we had the nesting ones so pretty good these team titleist hats usually do very very well this one is super nice condition 
and it's like a performance almost type of fuss feel to it. It is fitted, which uh, doesn't sell quite as fast, but it is a Titleist branded with the, uh, look at that. That's super, super nice. Definitely worth 99 cents. There's also a Patriots hat up here, New Era, in really good condition with the camo to it. That's actually not too bad either. It is fitted, no stains on it. Little wear up there, but that's not terrible. Another fitted hat for 99. This one's in super good condition too. It's a Red Sox fitted hat. These are all like the newer style too, the newer material for 99 cents. Can't beat that. Here's another hat. Uh, this is the Patriots. It says 1960 on it. This is the salute to service ones. This one looks like it's in brand new condition. Still has the tags on it, but not the actual hanging tag. But any salute to service stuff I usually buy, especially for 99 cents. Uh, we're going to do an all hat whatnot show. That's where all these will be at. We usually start the hats. And what I buy them for a dollar. So this set will be on whatnot for a dollar coming up very soon. In the kitchen area, this is a shampoo, I think how you could call it. Whistling teapot. It's actually in fairly decent condition. Um, it's got like rust on the inside though, so maybe not that good a condition. There's one out there that doesn't have this configuration. It's got like a metal handle that comes up and it's more heavy duty and doesn't connect over here. Same looking style here though. And that one's worth a lot of money. I think that one's worth over like maybe 80 to 90 bucks used and well over $100 brand new. This one's probably worth 20 bucks. And with this damage on the bottom, probably not worth anything, but look for the ones that have the heavy handle on them. Uh, the heavy metal handle worth a lot more than that one. Got some sea seashells. We can go to the beach and pick these up for free. But if you come to the Goodwill, you can buy them for three bucks. Totally up to you what you do with your life. You might want to go over there. I don't think they're going to be worth the reselling, but there is a ton. She just brought a ton of leggings. I don't know what size they are. They're on a small cart thing out there. Oh. So. There's a. What is that? Hallmark keepsake. Look at this. Big boy. How'd I miss him? Did he just put him in? No, down? he was in the flush bowl. What is he? Like? He's a piggy bank. I know. Made in China. Look at how much they want for him. Five bucks. Is it worth five bucks? I'll put him in the car. I mean, he's super cool. Like, I kind of want to keep him for my put, eBay room. <laughs> he is. He's looking at you, too. Did you look this one up? No, no. What's yet. the a great pair? Right now, she's picking something out of my beard. It's rough looking. <laughs> I haven't trimmed my beard in like a while. Look at these coolers down here. Man. This is a little Coleman. Look, this, one, this one's clean, not clean. Come on. Gotta get that for a dollar. Oh, that one's pretty cool. It's like a jacket. I want six bucks for it, though. I think that's a camo. Yeah, that's probably worth it. That's a camo Ralph Lauren. How much they want for that? Yeah, definitely worth uh, some money on that one. That one's actually super nice. Uh, this is the waffle. The waffle look to it. I forget what this is called. Waffle something made in Peru. I think these go pretty well. That says it's a large, but that looks pretty small, don't it? Does that fit me? No. This gotta be a woman's large. Maybe. Ain't no way I'm fitting my arm through that thing. It looks big for a woman. It looks small for a man. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, we can. Um, but this is pretty neat. Yeah. This is like a baseball jersey looking thing. Made in the Philippines. It's part cotton, part of acrylic. I'm gonna take a picture of that. Definitely the um, the camo one's cool. What else they got here in the pants section? Oh wow, look at this. What we'll to look? The uh, that was Peter Millar corduroy. We'll look them up. Eyes out. I love when you look through the clothing and um We're like right underneath the speaker. <laughs> we are right underneath the speaker. What is that? National Baseball Hall of Fame and Museum, Cooperstown. That thing is legit. That's pretty cool. Hey, we'll look that up. That thing is pretty nice. I thought it had a baseball team on it, but it doesn't. And again, the, the women's clothes, we don't we should probably learn more about it, but we just we just don't don't do that well with women's clothes all right let's look this stuff up so these are all winners this one here probably like 20 bucks the waffle one actually goes way better than i thought like around 40 dollars not so much in yellow though but when i was checking it um it has this red stain on it right there and it looks like it's like paint or 
I don't think that's coming off. We'll have to show that to Kayla. Uh, so that might be put back from stain. The Peter Millar, uh, like corduroy pants, they're actually uh, go for about 20 bucks. The big winner right here is probably gonna be the National Hall of Fame, the uh, baseball from Cooper Sam. That one goes for about 60 pre-owned, which is nice. And this thing right here goes for about 20 to 30. Uh, maybe a little actually more because it is vintage, but I need to find Kayla. She keeps running away from me today. What do you got over here? He was just throwing stuff down. So we got a Betsy Johnson. Betsy Johnson, Betsy, Betsy Ross's sister. Valentine's Really? Day, That's so close kinda. though to Valentine's Day. I know. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I think what kind of skin do you think that is? Don't don't be too rough with it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to gr I had to really grab it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um I don't think it's skin at all. Genuine eel skin. Really? Rip. That's what it says. Eel skin? Yeah. Have you ever seen a pocketbook made of eel skin? No. no. Have you ever been electrocuted by an electric eel? No. That stuff's super dangerous. Have you ever eaten an eel? Um, possibly. Yeah, we've eaten eel before sushi but also we catch them here and that's you can, right yeah, yeah you can cut their heads off skin them and they actually have some pretty good meat we're definitely looking up the eel skin uh purse though right yeah i would think that that would be a winner winner chick that that's a it's, salty it's definitely dirty though yeah it's hard shame. to clean that's a shame oh i saw that i passed up on it is that good JC Penny's? i don't know i have to look it up i mean it's I'm it, confused. it feels a little cheap but it looks like it's made of um hey straw or straw <laughs> hay or straw huh that's pretty cool i looked this up though eel skin purse not as much as one would think there's one that went for 4.99 best offer 13 25 unbranded genuine eel skin doctor bag that that's the exact same looking as this it does doesn't have the handle this would not be a doctor bag this is more like a purse that went for 25 pre-owned, 28, 10, Oof, they're all over the place. Korea 21, seems like the ones yeah, made in, like no. seems like the ones made in Korea though are more sought after. This one is made in Korea. It's in really good condition for eel skin. Eel skin ain't that thick. No. I'm honestly. sitting there grabbing it and probably <laughs> poke a hole right through it. And it's super clean. I don't know, you're not, you're not digging it? No. I thought it went from, I thought it was going to go for way more money. All right. Half the people fell off their chairs. Let's put it back. Half oh, the other geez. people were like screaming, put it back. Remember, we were on whatnot. People were selling those, um, what is that? Canada belt? Oh, no. I thought that thing was going to be legit. Nah. Remember Claire's? Did you get your ears pierced in Claire's? Um, no? Never got your ears pierced? You did at Claire's. Sparkle Bright by Radco. Oh. 2012. I don't know why they put the dates on things. Like, just scratch that off. We'll definitely scan it. You can't scan it because the Goodwill now puts all their prices right over the price. Um, barcode. Couldn't think of a name. So, but we will look at it and it does have the little tag up there. The little Radco tag. So, we'll look up Sparkle Bright, see if it's worth. I mean, it's got to be worth more than $10. Danskis? We're right there. They gotta be like perfect nowadays. Did you check the bottoms? Ooh, they're they about a tic tac away of breaking. Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah, they're small. Yeah. See how soft they're starting to get? Mm -hmm. Danskos usually don't bend like that. That was a good pickup though, but them Danskos are, uh, they get a little, they've definitely gone down in value like uh, dumbbells. Dance goes and dumbbells, straight down in value. Here's a, sh what is that? Oh, I thought it was a King Cobra. You lied, you sit on the throne of lies, King Cobra. Hey, there's a, there's a shoe rack over there. It doesn't have a... Yeah, it doesn't have a sticker. I know, I wonder if somebody has the sticker. That's what I was thinking. Or we should go out, because that would be super nice in your closet to put your shoes. What is this touching me? <laughs> um, in in your closet to you know do the shoes yeah what is this that's a dress return oh let's let's just try one. it on 
it's just nah. that looks good all right at the last minute uh we got a couple things that were not on video real quick it was the seven uh this is the ones that you were screaming you're like go follow the guy oh. so i like threw these in the cart for they probably would go for 30 bucks because they have the back flaps on them and seven for whatever this is called the jeans aren't super super expensive but they're not terrible and then you got a shoe thing yes a shoe rack are you keeping this is this going to be for you i don't know or we could use it for storage in the storage unit so probably uh, going in the closet or going in the storage unit to put shoes on which is nice and it was only seven bucks mm -hmm. it was 65 dollars for everything which is not that bad because this right here she even checked because she thought that was super high but this right here should actually go for probably 50 maybe even as high as 60 because they sell brand new for 110 nice. to 90 to 110 bucks so you're talking right here and right here will be probably more than 60 bucks and everything else is profit so you're talking you know more than 100 and some bucks for profit which is not too bad on to the next I know. you broke the rule I know. I you the broke the rule team no car you got a car. I know. We haven't found nothing. That's the, that's the biggest toaster, longest toaster I've ever seen in my life. This is you. Toast them. What are they called? The hot dogs. Is that eye fusion? That's been here for 75,000 years. What are, you, what are you saying that you toast in here? I ain't never seen such a machine in my life. Gotta look it up. I'm, all right, I'm about ready to show you how much this thing is worth. You tell me if it's worth the clean. There won't four bucks for it. The top model was the correct model. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hundred dollars pre-owned. Is that one super clean? I could Brillo not, pad. The, not really. I could get. Yeah, most, I would say worth yeah. the clean. Yep. Yes, yeah, so this thing's worth like ninety dollars. So that's what you always want to look for is something that's weird looking. That's what you looked for for a husband. Something <laughs> weird looking. No, I didn't. <laughs> and it worked out. See, you always look for the weird thing. Here, are you shaking paint. Yeah. How much do you want for them? Ninety-nine cents. I don't. Is that a good deal? Peace. Aren't they ninety-nine cents at Michaels? I can't remember. Scan one. They go for like three bucks a piece, brand new. Oh, these are all new. Yeah, they're all new. They're all like new. Every single one. Every single one of them. Is that a, bra a copper? Where's your friend, bro? What is that? This is oh, a salt and pepper shaker? Just a Where? salt? Or no, it's pepper? just pepper. Oh, yeah. Hmm. That's a shame. Paint by number kit. Goes with the paint. I bet them things are expensive. Are they, yeah, is it new? Skin, skin oh, it actually comes with the paint inside. It might be dried up though, depending on the year. No. Hey, they got uh they got jury in the case. I mean like a ton of it. Forty dollars a bag, so you're looking at five dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they have probably 15 bags. Oh, it's open. Yeah, they don't, they don't lock them here. Got some jerry. Give me some of that jerry. That one's packed. Looks like a whole bunch of necklaces. We end up selling that dice uh, bracelet. If anybody remembers the dice bracelet, we did end up selling that for like, what, 60 bucks? Or 45 bucks? Is that fishing lures? This is a good one. Keeper. That's the keeper. Okay, let's bring it up. What is it that you're looking for? Certain styles, just enough to make 40 bucks? Yeah. And then the rest will be profit. All right, so we just got home and our gyro pack poly mailers are in and uh, we buy from them all the time. And they're, they're actually one of the cheapest poly mailer and bubble mailers I think that you can buy. They have different colors. We actually picked light blue, orange, and teal for the bubble mailers. I'll go ahead and turn them around and take your look. So right here, we got these, right? We use these a lot for DVDs. We double wrap them in there. 
And then this stuff right here, Kayla uses a ton of these for her jewelry sales on whatnot. So we run through these very quickly. And then the bigger ones, we usually use, you know, expensive sweatshirts. Sometimes we put those in poly uh, bags too. But the bubble mailers, we're a big fan of. We do like them. Again, that is Gyro Pack. There is a link down below. If you use our code, you get 10% off of your first order. And uh, I'm telling you, they're the cheapest ones out there. We can't find any cheaper. So, and again, it is cheaper if you use our code. Link down below back at the house and kayla has already gone through i'll tell you what right now she goes very quickly through a ton of jewelry she's already gone through that entire bag i think you have two pounds or three pounds left of stuff that's not going to sell she did find some really good items to sell i think what you found 50 mm -hmm. 50 items so say you even got two dollars an item for that that's a hundred dollars i know that's not a whole bunch of profit but that's still double your money and it's fast sellers because we're selling most of this or all of it on whatnot. We did find one piece though. That's the kid and caboodle. I don't know what that means, but we're gonna show you what we found. All right, so right here is a sweet little piece of jewelry called a Wisteria necklace. Now they say it's from a guy named Michael. It's funny because the other guy that from the box guy, remember the wood box guy? His name was Michael also. And um, then you have Michael Angelo. Are people named Michael Michael just super good at doing stuff? Maybe they're, st yeah, super talented. Super talented. I got off kilter there. I was pointing over there. But uh, so this right here is poured bronze with pink pearls. And we have, uh, they are real pearls. And this does appear to be poured bronze. And it does have the maker's mark on it. And we believe that this is the correct necklace. And there's a necklace right here. And we did find the exact same necklace. And it, out of stock for three hundred and forty doll hairs we cannot find it on ebay correct we can only find it on this one website but we're thinking i mean we're thinking that it's good money it might be a hundred it might be two hundred it might be three hundred we do know that it's sold on this website for you know three hundred and forty so that ain't too shabby so a really good day thrifting we are happy to see the jewelry back in the thrift stores we only bought one and caleb picked out a gem because we're thinking that we already made 50 to 60 bucks on profit from just the sales and then you have this one even if it's 100 bucks 100 dollars per pure profit 300 300 dollars pure pro pure profit also remember gyro pack 10 percent link down below i do appreciate everybody watching remember if you're not subscribed subscribe comment down below like the video and you know i will always get you i can't hit hard i'm in her room she gets upset on the next one